Order, end of question time. Clerk will need now proceed to read the order of the day. Item 1, estimates for the financial year 1st April 2022 to 31st March 2023, Committee of Supply, 5th allotted day. Up. Deputy Leader. Speaker, point of order. Please proceed. Mr. Speaker, during yesterday's proceedings, you made a statement in Parliament to respond to the Facebook comments put up by NCMP Mr. Leong Manwa yesterday, shortly after the conclusion of Ministry of Manpower's committees of, Committee of Supply Debates. Mr. Leong has subsequently put up a video further post at about 6.55pm yesterday, captioned this is how the speaker prevents a member from speaking. This video is accompanied by a further post in which he claims that he was deprived of the opportunity to respond to Tan Si Ling's or TSL's red herring statement made last Friday. That you did not allow him to speak using the cutoff time is an excuse. That there is flexibility because the parliament schedule is ahead of time this year that other MPs were allowed to speak before him and that you should have known that he had an outstanding issue from the previous Friday sitting. This video shows the exchange between Speaker and Mr Leong just before the conclusion of MOM's COS debates yesterday. Mr Speaker, given that Mr Leong's post raised questions about the basis of Speaker's decision not to call him to seek further clarifications, I would like to seek a ruling from Speaker as to the basis for proceeding with the conclusion of MOM's Committee of Supply debate, despite Mr Leong rising to make further clarifications. Well, honourable members, um, I do wish to confirm in this House that the guillotine time for the debate on the Ministry for Manpower was Monday 7 March 2022 at 12.40pm, as all of you are aware. The guillotine times were made pursuant to Standing Order 92-7A, which states that the Speaker shall fix the time on any allotted day at which the consideration of any head of expenditure shall, if not previously disposed of, be concluded. If the time so fixed is reached before the head concern is disposed of, the Chairman shall forthwith put every question necessary to dispose of that head. Now, members were all informed before the commencement of COS of the total time allocated to the debate for each ministry and the start and end times of the debates. Members will also inform that if the discussion of a head of expenditure is concluded before the guillotine time stated, the head next following will be entered into straight away. Members were informed of the guillotine times for MOM last week on Thursday, 3rd March 2022 through notice paper number B003 of 2022, and this information was published in the daily working paper for Monday, 7 March 2022. Thirty and a half minutes were allocated for clarifications, but I allowed the clarifications to continue for 48 minutes to the guillotine time of 12.40 p.m. There were no time savings for the debate on MOM based on the guillotine times. Now, 10 MPs made clarifications, including four opposition members, Mr. Louis Chua, Mr. Jaro Giam, Associate Professor James Lim and Mr. Pritam Singh, one NMP, Ms. Abdul Samad, and five government MPs. So in total, five government MPs and five non-government MPs spoke and raised their clarifications. Now, Mr. Leong was not the only MP who could not ask a clarification at the end of MOM's debate. There were other MPs who had raised their hands or had indicated that they wished to speak, and this included Mr. Edward Chia, Mr. Louis Ng, Ms. Janet Ang, Mr. Melvin Yong, Mr. Leon Pereira, Ms. Yo Wan Ling. I do wish to emphasize that under the Standing Order 927A, the Chair is under the duty to end the debate when the guillotine time for the Ministry is reached. As the Chair of the Committee of Supply, I will continue to ensure that the proceedings in the COS is undertaken in a fair and orderly manner. Deputy Leader.
I thank Mr. Speaker for his ruling. Mr. Speaker, the Committee of Supply, COS, for the Ministry of Manpower took place yesterday, 7 of March, 2022. In the course of the COS, the ministers from MOM addressed the cuts and queries filed by MPs. After the ministers' speeches, there was time to take some further questions, but not all, given the number of hands raised by members. At the end of the time allotted for this head of expenditure, which had been made known to all members beforehand in the guillotine time notice paper and the daily working paper. Mr. Leong Man Wai, along with several other MPs, still wanted to ask further clarifications. However, as time was up, you as chairman of the committee invited Mr. Desmond Chu to withdraw his amendment so that the COS for MOM could be brought to a close. Now, Mr. Leong, interrupted this repeatedly, saying that he would like to ask questions. And you informed Mr. Leong that the time was up and asked Mr. Chu to proceed. The MOM COS duly ended at 12.40 p.m., the guillotine time. Subsequently, Mr. Leong Manwai made two comments on his Facebook profile as follows. On 7 of March, 12.52 p.m., now I'm at a budget debate for the Ministry of Manpower. Following from Mr. Tan Si Ling's comments, red herring comments, sick last Friday, I have a number of clarifications to, be make, to make. But the speaker didn't even give me the chance. I will show you the video later when the volunteer has done it for me. On 7 March, 12.53 p.m., completely ridiculous. Oh, that was his comment. Later in the day, at around 4.14 p.m., as chair of the committee, you brought these two Facebook comments to the attention of members and explained the following. The parliamentary process for COS. The COS proceedings are subject to time deadlines known as the guillotine time under Standing Order 92.7a. And that when guillotine time is reached for each ministry, the question for the approval of the head of expenditure must be put and the COS concluded that there were other MPs who also wanted to ask further clarifications but could not do so as the time limit had been reached. Notwithstanding this, at 6.55pm yesterday, Mr. Leong Manwai proceeded to post a video of the end of the COS with the caption, this is how speaker prevents a member from speaking. It was accompanied by a post which stated as follows. Today, I was deprived of the opportunity to respond to Tan Si Ling's red herring statement made last Friday because Speaker did not allow me to speak using the cutoff time as an excuse. The cutoff time is decided by the Speaker before the session, but there is flexibility because Parliament's schedule is ahead of time this year. Many MPs were also allowed to speak before me and he should know that I had an outstanding issue from the previous Friday sitting. Please, please view the video clip below. Mr. Speaker, this was despite your clarification earlier in the afternoon and the fact that it was clear that the guillotine time had been reached and that under the standing orders you were required to bring the COS to an end. Mr. Leong's post and his video have impugned the Speaker and the process of Parliament and have misrepresented how the COS proceedings for MOM were ended yesterday. And this is by suggesting that you could have called on Mr. Leong but deliberately did not do so for improper reasons. Now, this is dishonourable and a contempt of Parliament and breaches the Parliament Privileges, Immunities and Powers Act. Mr. Leong has had the benefit of your remarks yesterday and has now also heard your ruling. So I therefore request that Mr. Leong do the proper thing. And one, take down the video and the accompanying caption and post. Two, take down his two Facebook comments of 12.52 p.m. and 12.53 p.m. on 7 March 2022. Three, apologize before this house and also via Facebook post for his words and actions in the following terms. 
I sincerely and unreservedly apologize to the Speaker and this House for my Facebook comments of 12.52 p.m. and 12.53 p.m. on 7 March 2022 and the video I posted at 6.55 p.m. on 7 March 2022 and the statements therein which impugn the Speaker and the processes of Parliament without any basis. I have taken the posts down, I withdraw what I said in them and undertake not to repeat such words and actions again. I acknowledge that I had not set out all the facts in my posts and thus gave a misleading impression. In fact, many MPs filed to speak both in the budget debate and the committee of supply of the various ministries. Every MP is given the same amount of time. And the guillotine time for each ministry is announced ahead of time and based on the MPs who have filed to speak. It is standard parliamentary procedure that when the time is allotted to the ministry ends, Speaker will require that the votes on that ministry be taken and the debate moved to the next ministry, even if some MPs' questions have not been answered. Specifically for the Ministry of Manpower debate, questions from several MPs could not be answered because the allotted time was up. I acknowledge that I have had that I have every opportunity to raise during subsequent parliamentary question times the questions which I had wanted to ask in the Committee of Supply for the Ministry of Manpower. Mr Speaker, I request that Mr Leong do these by the end of today's Parliament's sitting on 8 March 2022. Thereafter, Parliament can decide whether and if so, what further steps may be necessary depending on how Mr. Leong responds to my request. I know that the member is not in chambers. We will formally notify him of this statement in my request to ensure that it is brought to his notice. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.